back to my channel and if you're new here hey i always do this in all my videos my name is stormy so for today's video you are going to be hearing me talk about my nose piercing experience um it's been hell but i'm going to share with you guys what i went through to finally have and enjoy my nose being this way so if you want to know what my nose piercing experience was and all the complications that I went through with my nose piercing, just keep watching. So, I got my nose piercing on my birthday, November 12th, uh, 2017, which is last year. I got it for my 18th birthday. Now, they pierced my nose, he went over all the instructions, how to clean it, how to take care of it, how to do all that stuff. I completely listened to him and I cleaned it on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm sorry I'm like it's like a rocky but I cleaned it and made sure it was okay on a day-to-day -day basis now um, I was really happy with it for two weeks after two weeks I was so upset so depressed so wanting to take my nose ring out because I got this huge bump that circled my nose ring I was so upset and like I literally almost cried. I'm a really emotional person. I literally almost cried. Now, um, I looked it up on Google and I watched YouTube videos and all this crazy stuff because that's what I do first before I go to professional. I always look it up first to see what I can do to try to fix it. But that's just what I do. So that's what I did and it was like keloid, 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 keloid pop. And I was like, okay, I have a keloid. What a keloid is, is scar tissue around wherever you got a piercing because you're not used to there being anything there or you pierced it. So of course there's gonna be scar tissue, damaged tissue, all that stuff. And on there, it was just a bunch of people saying salt water, tea tree oil, all this crazy stuff non-iodized, all this stuff that, it was, I don't know. So I listened to half these people because half these people had the same thing as mine. Mine looked just like theirs. And I was like, okay, they're saying that it's gonna go away in like three days. So me trying it didn't go away. I heard about an aspirin paste you get like a tablespoon and they put aspirin and they put like two, three drops of water and turn it into a paste and leave it on your nose. I did that. I literally left sea salt just on my nose. I mixed the aspirin and the sea salt. None of it was working. So I finally just gave up and went to my guy that had pierced my nose. And he, he literally told me the same thing that the internet was telling me that everyone on YouTube was telling me and I was like okay the difference between what he told me and what everyone else was saying was he was like get a 16 ounce water bottle and put one tablespoon of salt sea salt in it yeah sea salt in it and mix it up and use that mixture every day and clean your nose so he said, if you do this for a week, it will be gone. And if it's not gone, come back to me and we know that you need to change your jewelry. So I did it for a week. Didn't go away. It was bigger, actually. And um, it was so upsetting. Um, it was bigger. It was red. It was swollen. It was just really disgusting. Like pus was coming out of it. I thought it was infected. I was so scared. And then my mom and my dad kept saying like, you're allergic to fake jewelry. You're allergic to fake jewelry. You're allergic to fake jewelry. And I knew I was, but the fact that when he pierced my nose, I didn't think that he was gonna put a stainless steel um, ring in my nose. Like I just didn't process that. So he put a stainless steel nose ring. Let me actually show you guys. So I found it, guys. Okay. So I put it in here. This, sorry, I have nails. Just 
gonna make nails done. So this is what he placed in my nose. He pretty much bent it so it doesn't come out. And that's what he put in my nose. And I got like a prettyish like blue teal color. And that's what he pierced my nose. He didn't pierce my nose with this. He pierced my nose with a needle and then he put the ring in. And this is really big, like. That's what he pierced my nose with. Now, here I am being a teen. My, my parents are wrong, my parents are wrong. Like, I'm fine, it's just this keloid, that's all it is. They said you need to get a gold, um, like, you need gold jewelry. You need real jewelry in your skin. You're allergic to fake jewelry. I started thinking about it. Every jewelry that I wear is silver. Or it's real. Like, it's not fake. And when my mom told me the story when I was little, that my aunt had went and got my ears pierced without my mom's permission. And my ear, like, my whole ear swole up and turned green because I was allergic to the stainless steel. Now what he pierced my nose with was stainless steel. So, yeah. So what I did was, after hearing their mouths <laughs> um, so much, I was like, maybe they're right. So I went and went to, I'm not even gonna lie, you guys, you see my last video, I am not good with pronouncing things, but I went to this place in the mall and bought real gold jewelry real white gold now this is a 14 karat I have a purple one in my nose right now and this is the one in here that's the one that I first put it in my nose and then it comes with like a rubber piercing like if you have like a job or something and you can't have a nose piercing you put that in there and no one can see it so I bought this, I spent, it was $24.99 for it, but I did this like $5 marketing code thing and then I got $5 off and I spent $27.63. got a year like, if it breaks or anything like that, I can always fix it, return it, exchange it, whatever, get a new one. So I put real gold in my nose, and as soon as I put it in, I instantly seen a difference. My sister put it in for me, it started going down and down. So that helped me, but because none of the things that they were saying helped, I decided to do my own method. Now what I did was I cleaned, I don't have my alcohol with me, but I cleaned it with peroxide and alcohol. Alcohol first with a cotton ball or um, Q-tip around my nose, inside my nose, and then peroxide to make sure there's no infection in my nose. And then I got a small little bowl of water and warmed it up. And I got three tablespoons of, this is what is recommended, the Morton Sea Salt. Um, it's iodized Morton Sea Salt. And I put three tablespoons, like this thing is empty now of that and I did that every single day and now my nose piercing like the bump is gone and I've never been happier it was literally hell this experience was hell but with doing that adding pressure with the hot water sea salt and changing the jewelry it's I'm so happy with my nose now than I was before I was ready to give up and take it out like if this happens to you guys don't give up and don't take it out it happens to a lot of people it is so common with nose piercings but i just wanted to share my experience and what i went through and what i had to do to get rid of it with you guys um i like watching videos like this because it's relatable and i felt like i should make a video like this for you guys so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope if you're going through the same situation that I went through, this gives you a little 
tips and hints like you could be allergic to the jewelry and that could honestly be the only thing why you have a bump on your nose or a keloid so if this helped you or you like this video at all make sure you give it a thumbs up uh comment down below any videos you guys want to see in the future or any pranks or anything at all that you guys are interested in and wanting to see um yeah make sure to like comment share and subscribe and as always hit the bell right here or here or here or here you can never tell which one and yeah make sure you guys stay tuned for my next video bye guys